Hey there guys, got a new grow light here from Coray Grow Lights and it is a unusual fixture. Got lots of interesting little innovations on it, um, all packed in to, um, to one new grow light on the market. Let's take a closer look. So this is their G50 660 watt fixture and in terms of structure and layout, it's a little bit unusual. It's got clip-in bars here, which you can um, replace, uh, remove and replace, so easy to maintain, easy to install, and comes neatly packaged. Um, but interestingly, each of the LED bars has its own LED driver inside. So you don't have a separate LED driver and none mounted on the back. Simply plug the power cable into the end of the fixture and um, attach in the bars, clip in the bars, and each of them lights independently. Um, so quite a cool feature in itself. You've also got the dimmer module here. You had a connection on the end, and you got this remote mountable dimmer module that comes with a nice long cable, and it adjusts for two spectrum outputs. It gets even more interesting when you look underneath the fixture here. You've got multiple clusters of LEDs, you got uh, white, blue, uh, deep red, and far red LEDs, and these little clusters, and each cluster has its own little reflector. And when you get to the edges of the um, fixture, so on the external bars here, it is um, all of these little clusters are covered with a secondary lens um, with different magnifications or angles. Um, and on the ends of each of the middle bars, uh, the last two of these clusters also have secondary lenses on them. And these lenses help direct the light down onto the canopy to get, get uh, to maximize uniformity, particularly in open areas where you don't have reflective walls. So the LEDs used, it's a neutral white Samsung LM301H LEDs combined with, as I said, additional 450 nanometer blues plus Osram 660 nanometer deep reds and um, 730 nanometer far reds. And there's two channels. You can um, switch off the, uh, to basically the flowering channel and just use the veg channel for early stages. And this will be a combination of the white and blue LEDs. And then as you go into the veg, into the flowering cycle and finish the veg cycle, you can increase the proportion of the 660 nanometer reds and also the 730 nanometer bar reds. I tested it first with just the blue channel or the white and blue channel, so the veg channel on. And then as you can see, I added the um, the flowering channel and you can see the spectrum output we get that big spike in the 660 nanometer reds and 730 nanometer far reds. Overall this is a really solidly built fixture. As I said it comes very compactly packaged, um, assembles really easy, very robust, uh, clip-in plugs here at the end, feels really solid as a fixture and um, quite innovative features. Built-in drivers, these um, secondary lenses and these clusters with reflectors. It's going to be really interesting to see how this light performs. Now, Corey asked me to test at two different heights, which I did, uh, both at 12 inches and 24 inches, or 30 and 60 centimeters hang height, inside and outside of a uh, reflective walls area. So I tested the fixture in a number of different setups. First of all, using enclosed walls. So it's silver mylar walls around it in a four by four at 12 inches hanging height. Uh, uh, initially at 12 inches, the average power was 1133 micromoles, which is a really high value. Very good uniformity as well around. You can see there's very little drop. Max is about 1200, and min is about a thousand. So uh, about 0.8. Um, or thereabouts uniformity and a system efficiency of 2.42 which is really really good. Tested the same uh, setup then with reflective walls at 24 inches. Um, don't think it's the optimal hang height, it's just you're losing a bit of power. Um, it drops to 1036 average and 2.22 uh, system efficiency. That's you got just more reflective losses off the mylar walls 
without really getting any benefit in um, uniformity. Then took away the reflective walls and tested it in an open environment, but this time used a six foot by six foot area. So capturing the light over spilling from its specified four by four area and looking at how well the, 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 um, the fixture corrals that light in with the lensing and does a great job as you can see there's an immediate fall off around the 4x4 here this is at the 12 inches hanging height again the what I think is the optimum and when you measure all of that additional power um, outside of the 4x4 falling into that 6 foot by 6 foot space you get a 2.59 system efficiency which is outstanding raised it up to 24 inches then as well um, to look at that and average power uh, 451 the average powers are obviously dropping because it's over a much larger area but you're still getting those really good um, power numbers in that specified 4x4 and uh, system efficiency there 2.24 micromoles per watt so overall really good uh, power delivery from this fixture in a number of different with a number of different options about how you'd like to set it up so overall, I'm really impressed with this light from Cray, this G50 660 watt, well-built fixture, packed full of features, as I said, removable bars, so easily replaceable with the drivers contained within. Uh, runs very cool at max power, uh, so no problem with the, um, the sizing of the uh, heat sinks and um, you know the long-term reliability of the light. These lenses are very interesting. They are um, able to corral that light in really well, particularly for growers who are using open areas and uh, do not have reflective walls. It's a really nice fixture. And then of course you got your tunable um, spectrum. So with a particular spectrum with high blue content for veg stage, giving you short and dense growth. And then big boost of those 660 nanometer reds and um, 730 nanometer far reds for the flowering stage. Overall, exceptional light. Congratulations to Cray. Please check out the link below to their um, website and product pages. And uh, yeah, take a look. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, looking forward to your comments as always down below. Take care.